Hello, this is Mark. Welcome back again. I work on the Apple Retail Store. Well, if we want to compare between the two, uh, the MacBook Air has better pixel densities for the screen. We got 1400s compared to 1200 for the Pro 13 inch. So we got better pixel density for the screen for the MacBook Air. And the MacBook Air is way lighter than the Pro, up to 0 0.7 kilogram lighter. Okay, and lastly, the solid state drive, which comes standards with the MacBook Air, is very fast. It's even faster than the 7,200 RPM hard drives that we found in the MacBook Pro, whether the 13 or 17 inch, or even 15 inch. Okay, the MacBook Air, I think, is good for if you are a top executive for companies or if you are a professor or teacher that wanted to be able to hook up to projectors to do presentation okay so let have a look at the MacBook Pro 13 inch firstly the processor speed of the MacBook Pro 13 inch is way faster than the MacBook Air for the Air it can go up to only 1.8 but the Pro 13 you get 2.6 and the MacBook Pro gives you the opportunities to increase the RAM from 4 gigabytes up to 8 gigabytes, whereas the MacBook Airs are allowed you to increase the RAM up to only 4. So when you do multiple tasks at the same time simultaneously, I think it would be more smoother, I mean, to do things on the MacBook Pro 13 inch. And then thirdly, I think. The Pros has better battery lives, up to 10 hours on a single charge, but the Airs gives you only, I think, 7, that's the maximum. But the Pro gives you 10 hours on a single charge. Of course, obviously, the Pro has DVD drive, whereas the MacBook Airs doesn't have one. So it might cause some hassle and cable clutters if you might have to carry the Airs with the optical drive all the time, and when we put two of these items together, the total weight would be more than buying one MacBook Pro. And lastly, this might be the secret. Um, the Pro has better ventilation system compared to the MacBook Air. So, if you might want to install Windows on your Macs using boot camps or VMware Fusion or the Parallel Desktop 5, you might have to reconsider buying the MacBook Air because in a very short time, you might have to say goodbye to your motherboard. The board can be easily broken then. Okay, so I think the Pro is good for a cameraman or you want to do serious video editing on the road or if you want to do graphic intensive games, do 3D games, if you want to do 3D Max or AutoCAD or if you want to buy a first Mac, if you need all-in-one design, I would suggest the MacBook Pro. Okay, if you want to buy the first Mac for yourself, don't buy the MacBook Air. And if you want to buy the MacBook Air just for install Windows on your Mac, don't go for it. Okay? But if you want portability, mobility, you need something that's really, really thin, the Air might be the answer for you. Thanks for watching.